Supers Live. It's time for our second 25 lap non wing super modified feature for this evening at the wing side up twin 25. Starting on the pole will be the number seven of Nelson Hot Rodriguez. Rodriguez on the pole. Outside row number one. After the redraw, the number 41 of Keith. Put one on you, Powell. Powell in the 41, sponsored by CPR Motorsports and Icings on top. Inside row. Number two, driving the number 25 from Goshen, Indiana. It's Bob Gangwer. Gangwer in the BG Racing photos, number 25. Outside row number two, your winner in the first feature. Driving the number three, sponsored by BMK Logistics and Chasing Cameras, it's Brad Keezer. Keezer in the three. Inside row number three. Winner of the non-wing race last year at Bristol for the wing side up twin 25s. It's Rapid Ryan Clunin. Clunin, sponsored by Simability.com. Next to him, out of North Syracuse, New York, and the beautiful blue machine, sponsored by TeesForecast.com, it's Anthony Corsaniti, the quiet storm. Inside of road number four. This will be interesting watching him charge up through, driving the number 11, sponsored by the TMS Wolfpack out of Union, Connecticut, Dave O. Oh, in the 11, next door to him. Winner of the very first Wingside Up Twin 25 swept the wing and non-wing races at Bristol Motor Speedway 2004 out of Wyoming, Michigan. Gary Waldron, Waldron in the 10. Inside a row, number five, his teammate from Lansing, Michigan, the number 42, the ageless Carl Bonsai Becker, sponsored by Wholesale Diamond Exchange. Next to him, it's the 08 of Dandy, Danny Ray, 73 years old, in the Smoky Bones Down Home Kitchen 08, and rounding out the field, the 14 of Bobby Haydock. Here they come. Off of turn number four. Looking to go hammer down to the non wing super modifies. The green flag flies in Salem. Race number two. Getting rolling. Rodriguez into the lead. And a huge pile up. That'll be a complete restart. A huge caution start when Gangwer gets loose. Clunin, nowhere to go, gets into the Gangwer, finishes him off, and the rest of the field collected as those two were right up front. Super's rules say if the first... The last car on the first lap does not complete a lap. It's a complete restart. All those drivers involved will be charged with an incident, starting with gang. We're in the 25. Field rolling again here at uh, Salem. Let's we'll see if we can get them going. You know that this is a tough joint, man. On the start with cold tires. Rodriguez Powell on the front row. Gang were Keezer, Blue and Corsaniti. Here we go. We're going to try it again. Green flags out. Big warp here on the servers. We'll see if the guys can keep it going. And Clunin again, anxious on the start, wanting to go through the field. No yellow and everybody keeps going.
Rodriguez with the lead, Kieser in second. Wounded in third. Like Debo out of the reef. Horse at 84th, Powell fifth, and caution on the racetrack. Oh boy, Nelson Rodriguez out of this one. So patience, not a virtue for the drivers here in the second race, it looks like. Those that have shown the patience are in a little bit better shape. Rodriguez from leading out of the race. Well, how about this? The old guys are still in it, though. Exactly, Dave O in trouble there. Not sure what's happening. He'll roll it slow around the track here. O did have an incident. So he's going to go to the tail. White flags out. We'll be back to race it here shortly. I hope you guys put enough fuel in for this second race. Caesar, Clunin, Corsiniti, Powell, Danny Ray in fifth. Three flags back out. Here we go. And a good start for Keezer. But here comes Clunin down into turn number one. Right on the rear nerf bar of Keezer is Ryan Clunin in the simability machine. Let's see if he's going to try the slide job at one. Keezer shuts the door. He ain't going to let that happen. Top two have pulled away from Corsonini. A big battle in the middle of the pack, though. Holy smokes, look at that. Those guys are really going at it. And that's the 41 of Powell, the 08 of Ray, and the 14 of... Oh, and oh, Dave O into Danny Ray. Coming through two as they get side by side. Dave O to now up into fourth. Boonen and Kieser. Nerf bar to nerf bars. Dave O tries to work back up through. Danny Ray spins it out. Turn one. No yellow for him. And Clunin into the lead. Becker. the front stretch and look at this here comes Waldron and Powell Waldron and Powell a battle on right now for sixth place Waldron moves past Keith Powell a good pass there down the front shoot Bobby Hayduck digging hard on Anthony Corsonini a battle for fourth oh and Hayduck gets into the back end of Corsonini Corsonini saves it what a move there is Hayduck running low on the track Corsonini running high up front. It's Clunin, Keezer, O, oh, your top three. Corsonini and Hayduck. 
working hard off of turn number two down the back stretch into three. That's a battle right now on the racetrack for fourth position. Anthony Corsini in the blue number 12. The quiet storm. Here comes Hayduck Blow. That's a tough place to pass. Turn two at Salem. It's disastrous. Hayduck sinks to the inside off of four. Corsini gives him room but bounces off the wall. They touch. They keep going. Corsini slides high and yellow on the racetrack. Caution on the racetrack. It's Gary Waldron. Gary Waldron with a big crash in turn one after doing a great job. Loses a wheel. He's out of this one. And boy, that was almost disastrous for your leaders. As they were coming up to lap, Keith Powell had slowed down to get around Waldron. But Gary Waldron out of this one. A lot of attrition here tonight. Carl Becker running slow on the track. Balloon and Keezer, one and two. Boy, Dave O, let's see what he has on the restart here. So right now, the two old guys hanging out out there. Carl Becker, the 78-year-old. Gary Waldron spinning out, hitting the wall. He's out of the race. Admins right now trying to figure out uh, what's going on with the 42 of Carl Becker. We saw him spin. It looked like he, he slowed on the front stretch. The caution didn't come out, and Becker kept going. But uh, now admins, uh, Super's Rules says he say that if you're more than – and there goes Carl Becker in the pits. If you're more than 10% uh, of the race total laps down – uh, you are black flagged and pulled off the track, Becker. Seven laps down, so he's off of this one. White flag's coming out. Six laps left. This should be a bar burner right to the finish. Balloon in, Keezer, O. Oh. Watch this restart, folks. This is going to be exciting. Keezer at a disadvantage with Powell in between himself and your leader. Green flag flies. We're back to racing at Salem. And right away, Clunin takes off. Powell, great move of sportsmanship. Moves to the high side. Let's second and third by. And they are going at it. Tooth and nail right to the line. Ah, here comes Keezer. He's trying to reel in Clune, and he gets a little bit on Dave O's. Certainly has damage. He's been involved in a couple of scrape-ups here tonight. The top three have pulled away. Course and Edie battle still going on out there. Two to go into strike. Looted. Keezer. Davo underneath Keezer into second place. Does Keezer have enough to get him back? Davo doing a great job with a bit off the race car here in Salem. It's hard enough to drive at Salem, let alone when the car is trashed. Can Davo get to Clunin? Clunin's underneath Danny Ray. Danny Ray stays high. Here comes Davo as they take the white flag and the race is over. Not enough time for Dave O. Woo, man, what a job to come from the back in a beat up race car for Dave O. Ryan Clunan picks up the non wing win for the second year in a row. First time ever here at Salem Speedway in Victory Lane. And a great job by the driver from Civability. A little bit of impatience at the start paid off, apparently, as he got to the end and got her done.
So your finishing order in our non-wing event, Ryan Clunan out of Oswego, New York, Dave O out of Union, Connecticut in second, Brad Keezer out of Liverpool, New York in for third, then Bobby Haydock out of Brook Park, Ohio, a great run for him in a fourth, Anthony Corsaniti out of North Syracuse, New York in for fifth, Keith Powell, the sixth place finish, Danny Ray in for seventh, Waldron in for eighth uh, off the track with a crash. And then it was Carl Becker, Nelson Rodriguez, and Bob Gang were rounding out the field. Stay tuned. We're going to talk to our winners here at the Wing Site Up Twin 25. You'll want to hear what they have to say. And don't be afraid to put a question into our Twitch chat if you've got a question for our winners. You're enjoying live Super Modified Sim Racing the Finest on the Supers Broadcasting Network. 